MP Rambley says over the past decade, the public has been plagued by crime. He notes that from the Express polls and the TV6 People Meter questions, it is clear that crime is the biggest concern to citizens. He tells us there is a disconnect between politicians and the realities affecting the man on the ground, and it's time to set priorities. If we are serious as elected officials, as politicians on either side of the political divide, wherever you may be in the, la the political landscape, as a stakeholder or as an elected official, if you really are interested in putting people and country first, that cannot be part of the equation. It cannot be a dominating consideration anymore. It certainly is not for myself. I can speak for myself, and I'm calling on all my colleagues. We need to put down the political gun because we cannot consider ourselves first uh, in terms of holding um, political office if it is we intend to really come together. The MP warns that the borders must also be protected from illegal activity. The fact that Trinidad continues to be the ideal transshipment hub for guns and, and, and other ammunition and trafficking of illegal drugs and humans. You have a yet another level we are talking about the gangs and the gang warfare and criminality, this is now spilling over into the home invasion. He says too many people are unable to get jobs and cannot find decent employment, and that is also contributing to criminal activity. You have increasing numbers of people who do not have meaningful opportunities or access to assistance to improve their own lives. And, by, and I, I mean by lawful means, and so reliance on crime has become an acceptable alternative. And that, in my mind, is even more worrying now. He notes that as we are approaching an election, there will be vociferous voices speaking out. Rambly says the government is responsible for the situation that currently exists, but he is open to all sides working together on new legislation to tackle crime. He stresses that what was done before can no longer work. Whenever we have these absurd, these, these spikes in crime, which are which, uh, untenable situations on their own, but we have had many of these, what you see is the Prime Minister simply coming and calling this uh, uh, you know, round table conference in the, in the Prime Minister's residence or wherever it is having them. And it is a cut and paste of what he has said before that you are hearing again. And the population does not want to hear that. Nicole M. Romani, TV6 News.